Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another Marvel vs. System unboxing. This is for the Secret Avengers. This is part of the Civil War storyline, uh, Volume 4, Issue Number 5. You can check out um, the other videos in the Civil War set, uh, the base game, which has these, uh, the Civil War battles, which has the two main teams, Pro Registration, which is Iron Man's team, and Anti Registration, which is Captain America's team. Um, this set focuses on the, um, adding more characters to anti-registration, which is Captain America's side. And then the next set, uh, that comes out will be Thunderbolts, which has anti-registration characters. So we can jump in and see what this stuff is. So we have, second issue includes the unbridled power of the Young Avengers. Uh, assemble your team of secret Avengers and join the battle in your hand. All right, so then of course we're gonna get our little booklet here. Zoom back out a bit. So on the arc, we're gonna get uh, Iron Man, Captain America. Um, they're both considered hero teams. And then we're gonna have all our other stuff. So just two quick things to go over um, in case you haven't seen these in previous videos. Uh, if you have some cards that are AKA or also known as, uh, these are characters that have one identity but they are also a second identity so you're saying daredevil in this set is actually iron fist so he counts as both daredevil and iron fist if they have the aka they count as both and this is for uniqueness rule and um for power-ups so you can only have two copies of this daredevil and two copies of another daredevil or two iron man iron fist and two other iron fist um so it's kind of a neat way to like add more characters in there. Um, and then the other one we have, which we've seen a few times now, is Mantles. So if they have the stars by them, it's a second version of um, a character same title. Like there are multiple Daredevils, Hawkeyes, and Visions. Um, so these are same name characters as a different one, but they function separately. So you can have the starred version and a non-starred version together. And then we have um, the checklist there quick. We'll look at that at the end. Uh, we have some keyword things we'll go over as we get through characters. But let's jump in and see who we got today. So we're gonna end up with three new leaders, our main characters, I guess. Uh, we have Cable, who has Manipulate Matter. Choose any character, switch that character's attack and defense for this turn. And War is My Life. When an enemy character gets stunned on your turn, Cable gains 1 XP. Um, so yeah, just a reference there. It says, uh, Superpowers switch uh, their stats in moments. If they later gain more attack or defense, uh, they work normally. This lasts for the whole turn, even though the characters turn face down and then turn face back up. Um, so, as soon as it switches it, they stay the same. And if you gain bonuses beyond that, those bonuses apply to the new stats. They don't flip everything. So, if Cable used it on himself, he could become a 6-1 for the turn, and then if he gained uh, a 1-1 one, one, or uh, 3 attack, he would gain 3 more attack. Not three defense. It wouldn't switch the defense. Although, if he played it first and gained three attack and became a 4-6, then used his power, he'd become a 6-4. Alright, so then he has Telepathic. Turn any face down supporting character face up. So there'd be awesome. He'd switch him going 11-3 if you wanted to. Then we got Luke Cage. The Bernstein process. Luke Cage can't be struck this turn. And street level. When Luke Cage enters melee combat with at least one character without flying, he gains one XP. It's a brawler. Um, sweet Christmas. When Luke Cage... Ready Luke Cage can put a plus one counter on him. He can use his power any number of times each turn. We're going to get another X-Men in here. We have Storm. Um, I'm a mutant. When an X-Men character with flying appears, put a minus one, minus one counter on it. And then from a long line of African priestesses. At the end of your turn, if there is at least one blue, yellow, green, and red basic location on your side, gain one XP. 
Um, and then she has I'm a Goddess, play all four colors. Wound each enemy character with flying, and then stun each character without. Um, so I guess her specification says, I'm a mutant, doesn't affect main characters at the start of the game, as they don't count as appearing. Alright, then we're going to get into supporting characters. Uh, like always, unless I state otherwise, there's going to be four copies of each. So you get multiple man. Um, swarm, any number of characters, power can't be turned off. And kinetic duplication, at the start of your main phase, you may search your deck for a copy of multiple man and put them onto your side. We have Hawkeye, so this is Kate Bishop version. Uh, quick draw, well, Hawkeye is ranged attacking, enemy characters can't strike her. And the electric arrow, this turn when Hawkeye strikes your defender, put a minus one counter. Equal to her attack on the other characters in that defender's row, divided as you choose. So it's actually fun, like a lightning bolt. Um, so we have King Ping. I honestly don't remember when King Ping kind of joined with the uh, Captain America's team. Um, unless I just needed some financing and he was helping. Uh, but he is wealthy at the start of your build phase, gain a recruit point, and criminal mastermind. Choose an enemy character, remove any number of counters from it. Uh, then we have Nick Fury Sr. So this is the original Nick Fury. Um, contingency plan. Choose an enemy character, it loses and can't gain superpowers until the start of your next turn, including level up powers. Then we get some of our young Avengers about Patriot. Bulletproof characters with range can't strike Patriot, even in melee combat. Uh, you know, the Daredevil we mentioned before, uh, aka Iron Fist at this time. Uh, Daredevil, Matt Murdock was in jail, so Iron Fist took up Daredevil so that that way criminals didn't think Daredevil was missing and to help protect the secret identity. Um, Master Martial Artist, Daredevil has 4-4 in melee combat. Um, and the student becomes a master. When Daredevil is in your front row, other characters there have Martial Artist, have plus 2, plus 2 in melee combat. And another young Avenger will get Wicking. Um, I use my words. When Wicking appears, you may choose a supporting character on your side and say, I want them to be okay. Repeatedly, if you do, remove any number of counters from them. And then Hulkling to go with them. Uh, half scroll shapeshifter. When you recruit Hulkling, you may choose an enemy supporting character. If you do, KO it and put Hulkling in its row. So you can spy on him. Uh, Solo. He's a mercenary. Uh, special forces operative. Solo can only attack main characters. And at the end of your turn, you may put Solo in your hand. We got Vision. So this is a Vision that joined the Young Avengers. Um, who's actually the Vision programming, like AI, in an Iron Lad suit. Which was an Iron Man suit built by Kane the Conqueror. Uh, it's a Young Avengers storyline. It's really interesting. Um, eventually the Vision comes back. The regular vision personality takes over. Uh, it's with physical disruption. A vision would strike an enemy supporting character in melee combat. You may have him wound that character instead. And our last supporting character, Doctor Strange. Uh, the least amount of blood. Doctor Strange can't use I must remain above the fray unless there are at least five total characters with superpowers in KO piles. Um, I must remain above the fray. Any combat. Cancel the combat. Doctor Strange can use his power while in your hand. Reveal him when he does. He can use his power any number of times each turn. So it's kind of more or less like, I don't want this to happen. Um, now we do have a one copy of one of a kind nightmare scenario. Uh, you may have only one of these cards in your deck, and then build, search your deck for a supporting character with a superpower, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So you use Cloak to get whoever you need as quick as you possible. We're also going to get some more equipment, which we don't have a lot of, but this is only for this team. 
Uh, Electron Scrambler. You got five minutes. Equip only to an enemy character. In case you ever want to get to the other side. Equip characters you lose and can't gain our and can't gain superpowers. Um yeah, so that's interesting. Just shuts shuts someone down. Um So that is that deck. Um then they did have clarifications on vision vision. Um Anytime he check a supporting character melee, whether he's attacking or defending, he can directly wound the enemy character instead. Character still strikes normally. He wants to do this when he doesn't have enough attack to stun them by striking, or when he wants to wound them, but leave them face up so someone else can finish them off. Uh, melee attack when melee team attacking to wound an enemy character, don't count as attacking the total of the attack, but if the remaining attack have enough to attack the enemy character, will get wounded from vision and stunned by the remaining attackers. Um, Hulklings has trigger when you recruit him, but before he appears. So if you do choose to kill an enemy supporting character and have Hulkling appear, he won't appear on your side first. And there is a full deck list, just in case you want to see all of them again. Um, yeah, so pretty quick uh, to go through that, but... Uh, that is our secret Avengers. So we did get, you know, four of the main um, young Avengers. Hulkling, Wicking, Patriot, and Hawkeye. Uh, so that's really fun. Um, it would have been neat if they would have been a separate team at some point. Because uh, they did gain more members over time. Uh, Vision as well, so there's five. Um... But I get putting them in here. Makes sense as well. They work the team. The only other member would have been Stature. But she uh, went to Iron Man's side during this conflict. Um, she did not agree with Captain America's side. Um, so that is our Secret Avengers. So check out the other videos. See you guys later. Bye.